Just a bit of context here, the wind is coming from this direction. It's just over 20 knots and I'm using a 4.8 Severn Freak, which is a freestyle sail. And the board I'm using is a JP101 freestyle board with a 20 centimeter K4 fin. The first tip is to make the arc of your turn bigger. The bigger the arc, the more time you have to play with. More time to position your feet, more time to move your hands, more time for everything. The more time you have, the less you'll feel the need to rush and the more likely you'll get round the jibe. If you do a tight turn, there's a high chance you'll lose your speed and stall the jibe and end up in the water. So take your time. So just watch where I start the jibe and where I end up. I start pretty high and slowly change my angle onto a broad reach by putting just a little bit of pressure on the rail. Then as I duck the sail, I'm still keeping that little bit of pressure constant and by the time I'm on the new side, I'm pretty much pointing dead downwind. And then to exit, I slowly come up to the broad reach on the new side. Not only does this help by giving you more time, it also helps you keep the speed the whole way through, which is super important. The next tip is to get further forward. This was the best piece of advice I was given when I was learning, and I was told to go as far forward as you dare. I would often fall out the back or slow down very quickly at the exit because my weight was too far back. But as soon as I got my body weight forward, it made the duck jibe so much easier. You might hear people say, get your nose over your toes, or I like to think of it as getting my head over the UJ. Even if your head isn't exactly over the UJ, if you at least think about it, there's more chance you'll get your head forward and your weight in the right position. The reason why you need to have your body forward in the duck jibe is to keep the board level, which helps keep the speed. You can see here that as I place my back foot onto the rail, I'm almost letting the sail pull me forward. When you do the duck, there's no power in the sail, so you need to rely on your body being forward to keep the board level. Once you're on the new side and the power comes back into the sail, the mass of pressure will keep the board level. You can see even on my jibe here, the nose starts to come up slightly, so I could actually be even further forward, but I kind of save it getting the power back in the sail to keep the nose down. The next tip is on the timing of the duck. To make it simple, duck the sail on a broad reach. The reason for this is that the faster you're going, the easier the sail is to control and the lighter it feels. The broad reach is the fastest point of sail, so once you get to the angle of the broad reach, that's when you should ideally duck the sail. So you can see here that I duck the sail once I'm on a broad reach with max speed and when I finish ducking the sail, the board is facing almost dead downwind in a good position to bring the power back on and head up onto the broad reach on the new side. If you have more attempts at the duck jibe, there's a higher chance you have of learning or improving it. The best way to do this is simply do shorter runs. There's a time and a place for long blasting runs in a straight line across the bay, but if you're trying to learn quickly, you have to actually be working on the jibe. And by doing shorter runs and jibing at both ends, you'll pick it up much sooner. When I'm learning a new move, I'll spend the first part of the session focused on the first 10 attempts, just to see how I do, and usually to find some common mistakes. And then from there, I can make tweaks and adjustments. But if you just do five jibes over a two hour session, it's very difficult to improve. As much as we'd love it to be windy all day, every day, it's just not the reality. If you want to make the most of your time off the water, you can use a simulator on the beach or take some beginner gear out in the light winds to practice the hand movements and the footwork. It's not gonna be exactly the same as when you do it in the stronger winds, but it will give you an idea of the feeling. When you're learning the duck jibe, it feels like there's a lot going on all at once. So understanding the hand movements and footwork before you go on the water will make your life a lot easier.